Mid-season has arrived. We got a smaller mid-season patch this time, due to more being in the next season patch, and we also got Solstice. Again. <clears throat> more on that soon, but for now, the mid-season patch brought a few small weapon and perk changes, most notably to the Mean Beam Void Machine that is now Graviton Lance, and the infamous Target Lock, rewarding you for continuous accuracy. These both received some more targeted PvP nerfs, with Graviton also receiving some PvE love. Let's open with Graviton having Hidden Hand from D1 removed on its catalyst, granting it 15 extra aim assist. It is now back to 60, down from 75, but still retains all its other catalyst benefits. Explosions caused by Cosmology have also been reduced by 40% against players. Both of these will not really affect the core experience of the gun. Only the hardest of the hardest who use this gun often will really notice the effects of 15 less aim assist, and with a base zoom of 17, a range of 70, and max stability, landing consistent shots is not the most difficult thing compared to me actually getting good rolled high stat armor. Anyway, people who rarely use the gun, which is probably less now since it became a laser and flew to the top of the most used trials gun, won't notice much of a difference here. The cosmology explosion damage is a similar situation. The nerf affects more situational engagements where enemies are bunched up compared to one-on-one -on -one fights. In this clip, one of the explosions hit for 138, and with Radiant, this one hit for 177. Basically a kill. Definitely borderline cloud strike, so needed to be adjusted a bit to balance out its new form. For most people, the latter will likely be the majority of engagements since most of the time you'll probably be engaging with one enemy at a time. I'm thinking that this nerf will hit harder in objective game modes with capture points like Control or Fortress, but other than that and maybe other 6v6 modes on more condensed maps, the gun will still perform basically the same. Overall, most players won't be noticing any fundamental changes in the gun. You just need to aim. I know, I know, true challenging content, but I believe it's possible. For PvE however, Graviton has become quite potent indeed. A 67 PvE damage increase, that's a big wow. But how does it compare now? Let's take a quick look at a major enemy and who better than Carl. Before the buff, Graviton was hitting for 2259 and 3049 to the head and 1364 and 1,841 to the body. On a minor legionary, Grav couldn't kill in one burst to the body either, but just you wait. The Void Seekers after the explosion were hitting 88s and 72s, with the final orb explosion hitting for 1,436. Now, to the head, Graviton hits for 3,772 and 5,092, and to the body, 2,277 and 3,074. The Void Seekers were hitting 120s and 147s, with the final orb explosion dealing 2,397. These are indeed a 67% buff, and damn does it feel pretty good. Graviton was already quite good, but this just made it even better. A Jerfalcon build sounds very enticing right now, but that's for another video. But honestly, just on its own, it shreds through everything now with those void explosions. I did a legend salvage with it, and with plenty of void shielded acolytes, let's just say my screen turned purple at least 9 times. Plus, with turnabout, I had very frequent overshields. All in all, love the gun, competing with collective obligation now for best void pulse. Over in PvP land, as expected, it's still very good, and the loss of hidden hand has not done too much to it. I did some games, and honestly, it was a mistake. Gun good, my mental state, not so good. No time to explain. Also got minus 10 range, down to 70 from 80, but it will still be very good, since it also isn't fundamentally changing. Shayra's Wrath's dynamic ADS reticle also got tweaked a bit due to feedback, it being too cluttered, and the lines on the reticle have been reduced in both thickness and opacity. See on screen. It's actually quite noticeable. Finally, for significant weapon changes, lightweight shotguns which fell behind precision and aggressives due to their diamond-like scope having the outermost pellets fade into the void, got those pellets constrained a bit to help land kills at some longer ranges and compete with the other options. As you can see it isn't the most noticeable, but you can see that those outer pellets have come in a bit. 
Moving on to Target Lock, which has become an easy choice for consistency, has seen its max damage buff at 5 stacks reduced from 40% to 25% in PvP only. This will obviously decrease stacks 1 to 5 as well, but how much is each stack now? Well, since this perk is most popular on the This Sound Haunts My Dreams, let's have a look at that. So, initially before the update, a headshot hits for 22, increasing to 26 after a few bullets, about 16% for one stack. And right as we score a kill, it increases again to 27, which doesn't really matter since it's for only a bullet or two before the kill, if you are 100% accurate. At a metal resilience, you are able to easily kill by 9-10 bullets. Unfortunately, I don't have an immortal with target lock that actually dropped with a good column 3 perk, so I'll instead be using rapacious appetite which is also an aggressive frame SMG. It does have one less in the mag by default, so the perk will proc a bullet or so earlier. And looking at numbers, there are slight differences, but we'll still show what needs to be shown. Now, if we have a look at target lock after the nerf, the first increase is now at 24, with right at the kill hitting for 25. So, the first stack seems to be down from about 16% to to somewhere between 9 and 13%, and the second stack between about 14 and 18%. Not sure about stacks 3 and 4, but at 5 stacks, which we know is 25%, Immortal will hit for the previous 2 stacks, 27. So I'm not really sure what stacks 3 and 4 would be, unless when shooting an enemy, 2 stacks are the same numbers, but on paper the percentages vary on low and high ends of a number. My rapacious appetite also ended up killing an enemy in about an extra bullet, about 10 to 11 with high accuracy. All in all, a hit to the perk in PvP, but with only needing about one or two more bullets to secure a kill, people will still gravitate to the perk like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Pay the fear of your happiness from trials and RNG, profit from free stuff because who doesn't love free stuff? Immortal will still be a monster despite this nerf, but this is a hit regardless, in some capacity. So, that is a look at the two most significant changes in this mid-season patch, in the form of Graviton Lands and Target Lock, as well as some more of the minor changes we got. Let me know how you feel about these changes, or if more needs to be done to anything mentioned here. I personally think Graviton is now much more balanced in PvP, now less borderline Cloud Strike, and it's great to see it thrive in PvE alongside its other Void Pulse buddy collective obligation. I do wonder if this will deter usage rates of Immortal or not, since on its own it's still a powerhouse, but only time will tell, however long time is. As its name suggests, it has definitely become immortalized in PvP history. On a side note, it seems the salvage treasure of triumph for killing those omega red treasure laden combatants has been stealth nerfed from 12 to just 4. Good. Anyway, that's all we got for now. If you found this at all helpful or enjoyed your stay, dropping a like or sub is greatly appreciated and will help your dreams stay immortal free. As always, thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.